Tapestry. I'm Napoleon Bell. I'm the Executive Director with the City of Columbus Community Relations Commission. I'd like to welcome you to the program. And as you know, next to me, we have Ms. Tony Teague, the, our uh, co-host, as always, <laughs> my left arm, as, as we put it, here on Community Tapestry. And we've got a great program uh, for you tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got the first segment and second segment, so you just cannot leave your seat. I'm telling you. Right. It's going to be so much fun. You can't stand yourself. You. And, and I can't stand myself because of the, our first segment. Uh-huh. You know. A little vested interest, but little, it's little okay. A little vested interest. It's okay. It is okay. All right. Because I've got my alma mater here. That's right. Coming out strong, the Bishop Hartley Hawks. So let, let's, let's get right to it. Introducing the Bishop Hartley Hawks coach, Brad Birchfield. I'd like to welcome you to the program. Football coach. <clears throat> Glad to have you here, sir. Next to him, we have somebody I know um, for the last 18 years. Really? Uh, <laughs> a, a hawk himself, uh, Napoleon Bell III. I'd like to welcome you to the program. And then next to him, we have Jawan Woodley, number four of the Bishop Harley Hawks, a junior there. And I'd like to welcome you to the program. You know, this is, you know, amazing season. I should say seasons because uh, between last year and this year, have just been doing a great job. And, and, and Coach Birdfield, I, I just got to ask you, you know, you're coming out of, uh, out of a, out of the public schools a few years mm -hmm. a few years ago, um, been been with uh, Hartley since I think since two thousand and eight. Great success within a, just a short few years. What do you attribute that to? How did you do that? Well, I, as cliche as it sounds, we have such fantastic people. You know, we've got great leadership, great administration, uh, and uh, great community support. You know, the Hartley community, as you well know, is extremely close, extremely passionate, and extremely committed. And, uh, you know, best of all, you know, we have just tremendous student athletes. I mean, we have great kids. They're a lot of fun to be around. They work really hard and they're committed to what we're doing. They feel excited about, uh, about the direction of things. I think when all those things kind of come together, it becomes easier. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, make, it makes us look a lot better than, uh, than we might be intended. Right. Well, well, also, before we get, also get started more in depth, I want to make sure that our viewing audience can give us a call at 645-6557. And or we're also on Facebook. We've got that up and going at Nap Bell. Um, so if you're on that one, and or for you Hawk fans out there that are already my friends on Napoleon Bell, you can go to that one also and, and, and have your questions. Uh, uh, I'll read them off there for you. Also get those questions answered. But going back, you know, we, when you were talking about the success, you know, but with success comes challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, what challenges did you see? You know, maybe look into the future when you when you started with Harley, and uh, what did you? Did, ones that you see, but then also which ones that kind of hit you from blindside at you? Well, I think the challenges that always exist, you know, building a team is like, uh, you know, it, it's such a, a different dynamic because it is the overall, it's, it's a whole part. It's years and years of, you know, Napoleon was a freshman our first year, now he's a senior. He went from boy to man, and you always kind of have that, uh, that global deal going. But every team's a little bit different. You know, the new challenges that come, in, come along, you, know, you replace people and how people fit in. And, uh, you know, the, the most challenging aspect are how are people going to work together, right? Are they going to move in the direction that, you know, is best for everybody? Are they going to work together? Some kids are going to get more limelight than others, and how are those others going to respond? And within the team dynamic, they know that everybody's just as important as everybody else. So those are always challenges that you have to, uh, you have to take, you have to encompass. Um, you know, individually within the within the school, anything that was blindsided was, uh, you know, there are little challenges that come up, but uh, we have it pretty good. I mean, we're we're pretty blessed and pretty fortunate. That's amazing. Now, I also was looking through some of the thousands and thousands of pictures that uh, your dad put online, and uh, it looked like you guys pray before and after games. Can you tell me what's the role of prayer um, with your with your sports program? Well, and all of you can feel free to chime in. The spiritual role is is central within our school. You know, football is a huge part, and I, I know our people like to say it's uh, you know athletics sometimes are the front porch of the school. You know, if the school is the house, you know, it's the importance. The front porch. Too many people see just the athletic team, right? It it gets publicity on Saturday morning in the dispatch and whatnot. And uh, you know, the sports team should always be representative of what goes on within the entire school. The spirit is 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 the fabric in which our entire school is based. And, uh, you know, we, we can do, you know, prayer has to be the central theme of everything that we do. We pray, uh, you know, we pray constantly, you know, we pray incessantly, we pray 
uh, before every practice. We pray within practice. We pray before every game. We pray multiple times before every game. You know, I, I, I pray before every play. So, and, 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 and that's not, and we're not, uh, we're not bashful of that. You know, those are things that we need to strengthen ourselves. So it, it is integral to everything that we do. What about the two of you? What, what role does that, does at least that fundamental, this is a discipline thing that we do before we go to go into plays and games, how does that play into your, your personal and professional lives as student athletes? Um, for me, I just feel as uh, coming up as a Catholic, um, it not only helps strengthen my faith, but it helps solidify the faith that I already have there, um, is bringing it in with not only the school that I'm in, but with sports. Thanks. you want to um, yeah, it's like uh, me following after him. So when he sets a good like sets a good example, so I have to set a good example for the um, underclassmen for next year. Wow, that's that's pretty powerful so stuff. Can, well, and, and that just you know I'm going to skip to a question um, with uh, with you, Nate, um, in regards to you know what you're talking about, Juwan, as far as setting that example mm -hmm. and that leadership role. You know, let's say you know a year from now. You're, 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 you've left Hartley, and, but you get to come back and talk to the underclassmen and underclass women. What do you, what, what, what do you say to them in regards to if they're in athletics? What, what do you say to them? Um, I just have to say that you gotta give it your all all the time and um, sort of just absorb the moment that you're in because I feel like a lot of times um, teenagers can sort of look to the future, look to see what they're doing in college and then when they become an adult, but one of the things that I'm glad that I did was that I really focused on the moment, and that helped me um, be, work hard and then to get where I am. Well, speak, speaking of working hard, Coach, what are the, your expectations of, of, the, uh, of your players on the field, but also, more, and even more importantly, academically? You know, I heard a college coach say his, his expectations for his program was to win championships with great kids. I, th I thought that was pretty profound and, and pretty strong. I don't think you can have one without the other. So when we talk about off the field, character development, I, I don't know how, how long you win if you don't have good character. I, and I think that's something that's oft uh, discussed and oft uh, um, kind of glossed over in his lip service, but I don't know how much uh, it's always put in action because that's the constant. That's that that's every day. That's in between every period. That's uh, what we do in the classroom. That's what we. That's the way we treat one another. That's the way we act in the locker room towards one another. That's the way we treat one another on the field. Jawan talked about you know he was had leadership passed down to him from Napoleon. And he'll pass it down to the guys behind him. You know that's character. That that's understand the importance of uh, of you know what my credibility is going to be and uh, you know kind of spreads on throughout forever. So speaking of character and, you know, sp spreading things around and having support, I, I even see, Juwan, you have a, a fan club here this evening with you. Who is your fan club? Who did you bring with you? Um, I brought um, my stepmom, Miss Danita Whitley, and my dad, Jamal Whitley Sr., and my little brother, Caleb Whitley. Wow. Okay, yeah. so, so tell me what role, and, and of course, Napoleon, you, you've always got this. <laughs> This is your biggest fan. <laughs> you may have you may have bigger fans, but uh, I don't know of any bigger fan than you have than he has in you. So, um, you know, what role does the, your family support play in your um, athleticism and your dedication and being student athletes? Um, for me, I just know that um, I sort of sympathize for my parents um, because I know a lot of times <laughs> it can be very hard. Um, and it takes a lot of time and commitment, not only, on my, not only on my part, but on their part as well. So I really appreciate them for that. Wow. Yeah, I put my parents through a lot, um, <laughs> through all the stinky stuff that I put them through, through my practices and stuff. And they just stay on me on academics and stuff every day. Mm -hmm. Thanks, do you find Do you find it um, easy to be a student athlete? Because when we say the word, you know, the Ohio High School Athletic Association always talks about student athlete, you're a student first. Um, what's your commitment to your academics and what advice do you want to give to other um, young athletes who look up to the both of you? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's easy, but it's something that if you keep working towards it, you sort of develop a discipline that um, takes the load off of you between practice and schoolwork. Okay. Yeah, um, sometimes you don't have to be the smartest person to get good grades, but if you work at it, you'll you'll end up getting them, so that's what you should really be focused on. Okay, so persistence is, yeah. is your advice.
That's good. Do you have some advice too? Well, I think uh, Napoleon hit the nail on the head. And this is something we talk about. You know, we're getting close to exam time, and we see our students walk through the hallway, and the hair's a little frazzled, and the, <laughs> there's bags under the eyes, and we're constantly reminding our kids to focus on the moment. You know, focus on the task at hand. When it's time for English class, I want to be the best English student that I could possibly be. And, you know, when I'm in the hallway, I want to be the best friend I can be. And when I'm at football practice, I want to be the best football player I can be. And I think those are the kind of attitudes. I know those are the kind of attitudes that we take in our lives. You know, when we get home, I want to be the best dad and husband I can be. And, um, you know, focusing on that task at hand, which mm -hmm. is so important. Well, let me ask you this. You know, when we talk about um, uh, the task at hand or, or well, and this, and this, I think, goes to Napoleon and, and, and Jawan, you know, that you've been successful. You've taken a task at hand, and you've been successful um, in the classroom and also on the field. So what is that that drives you, that motivates you to continue to do these things? Um, I just say that there's the, you've got to have the persistent goal in mind um, because during camp in the summertime, we developed a list of goals that we wanted to accomplish as a team. And so as long as we can keep those in mind, keep the state championship in mind and the goals that we have set forth before us, um, if we keep those in mind, we can work towards those in all facets of life. Excellent. As Napoleon said, with the goals, if you strive at those goals with a championship effort, you'll, you'll get them. So you're saying you started out the season with thinking about the championship. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't think about game by game. You thought, at the end of the season, who do we want to be? Yeah. yeah, that was the ultimate goal. While um, that was pretty much the thing that we knew, where um, once our road was done, once it was over, we wanted to know where we wanted to be as a team. But we also took it game by game. It wasn't simply that was our only goal. That was our ultimate goal. Yeah, yeah. How we want to be remembered. So you did you did that change your behavior then? Because you know, if you're only thinking game by game, that's one mindset. But when you're thinking about, you know. The championship, I mean, did you kind of, did, how did that impact the way you carried yourself from day to day, the way you operated from day to day? Um, I felt like one of the biggest things that we had going for us was that we, um, we practiced humility. And that from the beginning, from the day after we won the state championship last year, we knew coming into this year that that was last year. That was last year's news. It was something that we knew where we wanted to go. We knew where we've been. And that was where we ultimately wanted to be again. So we had to keep that in the back of our minds as we worked day in and day out. <clears throat> Jawan? No. Okay. He, 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 he hit the he nail on the head. Right, right. <laughs> um, and speaking of all this, when you talk about, you know, the goals, you know, what, what are your goals um, for the future? Uh, Nate, you'll be, uh, you'll, you'll be out, of, out, of, out of high school, graduating here uh, very shortly. And Jawan, you have another year. So what are your goals? Um, for, for both of you in, in the next year or two? Uh, my goals would be to attend a four-year college, um, get a degree, and hopefully play football. Okay. My, my goal is to be a leader in and off the field and um, attend a D1 school, play football, and get my four-year degree college. Excellent, excellent. How does well, that make you feel? Oh, it's great. I mean, that's, that's the... Uh, that's the end result, right? We want these guys to, to take what they're doing and be champions in everything that they do in their lives. Exactly. Now, you know, in, in, in reaching goals, I mean, I, I see a list of honors, you know, Nate, with the all CCL, all district, honorable bench in state, and I, you're one of the team captains. And, and Jawan, you know, as a junior, you made all CCL, all district, all state, and a state player or state MVP player or state player of the year. Was that right? So making great honors, making a name for, 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 for both of yourselves and, 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 act, and doing what you said you're going to do. You know, making those goals now. You know, you, you made it to uh, uh, this year to the uh, made, uh, CCL champs, and then was a districts and made through the districts, and then regional runner-up. Now, we talk about what's the measure of a of a man. You know, when he gets knocked down, so fell short of state champions. We had that goal. Mm -hmm. So, where are we at now? You know, looking at your mindset, um, Nate, you, you're going to be gone. Jawan, you're coming back, um, and Coach, you're definitely coming back. So. <laughs> Let me hear from all of you on this. You know, what's, what's the state of mind now? Because, you know, you, you got knocked down. What do we do now? Well, the expectation is, you know, we, and we talk at, uh, to kind of piggyback on what uh, Nate had to say. You know, we, we had a big theme this year. We, we'd always, 
when I took the job, I think anything we were going to do, we want to have the best football program in the state of Ohio in every way, you know, in absolutely every way. And I, I think, that, you know, we constantly preach to the kids that if you're going to put your time into something, you want to do it the best you can possibly be. I think it would it would be uh, terrible to put your time into something just to try to be average, you know, or just to, you know, you really want to do the best you can. And we kind of watched a video and about doing things better than it's ever been done before. We heard a musician say, I don't want to be the best person doing this. I want to be the only person doing it. That's how good I want to be at it. And, uh, you know, that's what we constantly talk about, constantly strive for, doing it better than it's ever been done before. And I think with that kind of goal in mind, it's never ending. I think it's always a challenge. It's always uh, another step away. So as a coach, that's exciting to see how good we can be, how we can take a group that uh, they're right here, and then how good can we get them to be, how far can we get them to raise. Wow, that, that sounds like a way of life, doesn't it? You know, I don't want to be the, the best person. I want to be the only person doing this Absolutely. with that. That's, that's an impressive mindset. Well, you know, and speaking of mindsets and, and things that you're, that you're passing down to the young players, um, I've got to ask the players, you know, of, of all of Coach Birchfield's teachings, um, wow. what, what has made the most impact um, in your life now, and what do you think going forward of, of the teachings that you've learned um, with Coach Birchfield as a coach? Um, for me, uh, the one thing that I took to heart that he's told us is that we want to try to be um, the best person that we can be. And that's in every way of life. That's in as a football player, as, um, as a man, and then as a person of society. Um, because the way that he taught things, the way that we work through practice, that translated into our lives. And then that's the one thing that, um, that he really stressed to us is that we, it's good that, we're great, that we can be good players, that we can be a good team. But one of the things that he wanted to get to us is that we wanted to be great people of society as well. John? Well, right. two things that stood out to me is um, his quote, well, teamwork and toughness. That was our team motto for, since I've been a freshman. And teamwork, as I learned, is like football is like the, um, the ultimate team sport. And with your team, without a good team, you don't have like a good season. And like when you have like your group of players, well, we call them brothers. On the, on the field and off the field, and they support you with anything you do. And toughness, that's just, it just comes on the field. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. Yeah, you gotta have that it. Was to, to, as it. What was that, the, 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 the truck that they had on the, on the big screen? What was that, the big uh, SUV or <laughs> they had a <laughs> truck somebody? Truck, yeah, whatever that was, but, and, and that was done a lot. So I tell you, what, we've got some pictures that, that, that we wanted to show, and, and maybe you guys can tell us what was going on there, but uh, I, I think our, our, uh, we'll, we'll show a couple of those if those are ready. There we go. Um, look at that. I think that was, you know, uh, one of the games. I can't see who, who that was. Um, that's Is Ironton. That? Ironton. Oh, yeah, your favorite, your favorite team, Ironton. Huh? Uh, <laughs> that's when you guys Ohio. were coming out to, to, to play Ironton. Now, this is showing I, I, a picture of Nate there. He was on offense and also played defense both ways. But as you see, he's out there leading. Uh, I think he led, led you a lot. Who, who's yeah, the most, if you, if you look at that picture, who's the most important person in that play? Because you know, when you talk about teamwork, the uh, goodness, you've got, you've got four guys that are crucial. You know, Nate and I, we scored the same amount of touchdowns in our careers. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But we still, we're never going to, we're never going to have our pay, name in the paper as much as Juwan. And to hear Juwan say the things that it takes everybody, teamwork. And that, mm -hmm. that's when you have something special, you know, when, when guys submit kind of the fact that I'm going to work hard. So, he can get his name in the paper, and then he's going to say, I can't get my name in the paper unless you're in there. I mean, that, right. that's the essence of teamwork. That's how it, all, how it all gets going. Exactly right, because, you know, without a blocker, you don't have those holes. Absolutely. Exactly right. So there we have, I think that's Jawan uh, running. Uh, and once again, you know, you talk about the blocking and what have you. What, what team? Was that Bexley? That's, Reed. that's or, Silver Knights. Silver Knights. That's, oh, that's, no, that's I'm, Reedy. I'm Reedy. On Reedy, another one. Of the, the CCL championship game. There you go. There you go. Um, once again, uh, oh, that's how most of the, the Reedy players up. saw him. Right. right uh, <laughs> <laughs> from behind, I'm going to get some Reedy calls. And this is the other half, you know, playing, uh, on, playing defense yeah. um, that, that you've got to surround lot, the ball. A lot of toughness in that picture, right? There's the goal line right there. And uh -huh, that old number 75, he's going to make sure that body lane gets pushed mm -hmm. the opposite way from the goal line. Yep. Right? That's toughness because it's easy to say, well, I'm going to give in a step or I'm going to move back a step. And these guys... Uh, you know, it takes a lot of heart and toughness and desire to not allow yourself to and Number 80, that's um, Trayvon. Trayvon, Trayvon Brown. Brown. Okay. Another great player out there. Um, and there, that was the, uh, the picture after the, um, 
uh, at, at the uh, regionals. Right. Right. At, at the regionals there with the, uh, I think you guys had the trophy there, and that's, we'll have another picture coming up here, I think, that shows that a little better. This was the seniors um, on that with, uh, at the regionals, um, showing them. And, you know, got to have the cheerleader picture in there. Because, homecoming. Yeah, homecoming because also they're, they're on my Facebook, too. And, and they're they, they were part tagging of the her. And, and, important part, and that's an important part of the team. When yeah. we talk about team, it's not just got, the players. but Got to have fans. Got to have people we, we, that uh, rally up the fans. We have a, we, I think our guys have a pretty clear understanding of the role of football within the, within the school. We're, we're just a part of a representation of, of a much bigger thing. But, you know, football is an exciting part, and there's a lot of – it, there's a lot of attention that's paid on it, so we're going to try to use that to make that community gathering. That's a beautiful picture right here of the past, the present. I see some future down there, it looks like, in the uh -huh. bottom left. Right and, you know, football in, in Ohio, in Central Ohio, is such a community gathering space. You know, the, the uh, stands are stands full. Are packed, it, right. it, it is a, it's a place to, uh, to fellowship with one another, past, present, future. That's right. what's exciting. Exactly right. And they're the uh, team captains at the regional finals, or regional, yeah, regional finals. Um, they were holding the, uh, the thing. And this was uh, during picture day, I think it was, yeah. early on. Now, was that, is that all the seniors, too? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure that. So the seniors there, you know, wishing them, you know, great success in the future. You know, so there were the pictures, you know, showing, you know, what talking about is teamwork. Mm -hmm. Teamwork is now, huge. Speaking of, speaking of teamwork, I also know that, you know, you're probably familiar with the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. So tell us and tell our audience, especially to inspire the parents that work so hard to make sure you get to practice and from practice and um, the rest of the community that supports you, who are the people in your village, who are the, the most prominent people in your village that, that support you and help you become, as you said, Nate, the man that you, that you are today? Um, for me, it's all my friends, family, and my teammates and my brothers because uh, my friends and my family, they're the ones that support me throughout the whole process. They know what I'm going through and they, and they help me with that. And then for, as far as my teammates go, um, we, it's sort of a relationship where um, I help make them better and they help make me better. So in that process, um, it can only be um, better from the start. Nice. Um, for me, it's my parents, my brothers, um, my teachers, and my friends. Like they. They just, they're there all the time. My teachers help me all the time whenever I need it in school. My parents is there pushing me to what I want to do, and they know this is what I want to do, so they push me to, to the best of my ability to get what I want to go. Coach, what about you? I mean, you, you're not, you're, yeah, you're you, part you, of the you need village. a support system too. Absolutely. Listen, I've, I've, I was blessed with a tremendous family, and I, I, I am uh, empathetic towards those parents because I have two little ones myself, and the parents that have to hustle and bustle, and, you know, when they have a bad day at school or at practice, they come home and tell the parents. So I've got to, you know, I'm, I'm sympathetic to that, uh, to say the least. It's difficult. It's hard. You know I mean? It's hard. It's hard stuff. It's got to take a village because so many people are involved, and uh, we need those great support groups now more than ever. I believe it. Uh, one, one, one other thing, you know, um, talking about support and some support that you're, you're losing on the team. You know, senior year, we've got, I think we saw 10 or 11, 11 young men sure. that, are, that, are, that are leaving. What you know? We've got great expectations yeah. of the Hawks. I mean, Absolutely. this this is a tradition now. You know <laughs> what are we what are we looking at for next year? Well, it was a tradition when you played too. Yeah, well, so they <laughs> kept going. That's what. Listen, we are. Uh, I think as long as we continue to foster the leadership, right? I, I think the worst nightmare of a coach is when a player leaves the program or a player leaves the school and they don't have great feelings towards that school or don't have great feelings towards the people behind them. You know, I, I did this. My class did this. I really don't want anybody to ever overshadow me. And we want to always guard against that. And we're constantly talking about that. Because, listen, next year's team is going to be a reflection of the leadership that these guys gave. And three years from now, that team's going to be a reflection of what next year's team gives. Mm -hmm. Just like we're a reflection of last year's team and your teams and all that. Yeah, that's what tradition is. That's why it's so much more exciting to have that tradition behind you and have that kind of wind at your back and uh, mm -hmm. that great support. Because the expectations are there and they feel part of it. And we all feel part of it. Exactly. Well, what can we look forward to, you know, because I, I, the, the renovations of the school are just tremendous, mm -hmm. tremendous. I mean, you know, back in the day, you know, they, they didn't have turf. How I was, far back? So, so I, I, you know, I would have been probably three-tenths of faster, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or, more, but, or more even. Um, but we didn't have that. We had a rock field in the back. So what, what do we have to look forward to, you know, as far as, or, or what do you know that's maybe coming down the pike in regards to the, 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 the field and, and uh, the whole, whole uh, Athletic, or, or actually, all, all of Bishop Partley there. 
as it's far as inc renovation. incredibly vibrant. Uh, I mean, it's just such a when you walk through the hallways, it's 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 incredibly bright and incredibly vibrant. We got great kids coming through. Our athletic programs are just seem to be on fire. You know, the basketball team's doing well. Mm -hmm. Volleyball team won the state. You have such a uh, such a culture of success. And I, I tell parents when they bring kids in, when they bring junior high kids in, say, I, I want to see if Hartley's for me. I, I don't talk about to us about football. Don't even talk to us about sports. Walk up into the uh, into the science wing, and they're teaching science with as much passion and enthusiasm as we're coaching football. Mm -hmm. And walk down to walk down to A Wing, go look in those English classrooms and those kids are excited and it's it's so much uh, it, it's 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 so great the stuff that goes on there. And that's why those athletic teams are successful because you can't just turn it on and turn it off. I can't be miserable all day and then uh, go to practice and think I'm gonna be a great player because I, I don't really know this guy next week. Well, you know, the culture that goes on within the hallway, within the building from seven thirty to what, seven thirty probably. You know, it is uh, it that that's what grows, you know, and that's what kind of drives the bus. Well, <clears throat> tell me, because you know you're, you're talking about environment. Absolutely. And I, I can tell you, the environment in there has changed dramatically. You know, just when, when walking the halls, you've got to go into Harley and just walk the halls because, you, first of all, you feel the familiness, but also what you have on the walls. I mean, the the, the it's so inspirational just to walk Absolutely. through the halls about. What's on the walls? Well, talk talk about you know, in regards to teamwork and, and the different houses. That, um, Listen, we have uh, we have a. I, I think it's important. You know, we are, we're always you know our younger levels are all good in all of our sports, right? Mm -hmm. Why, how is it that the ninth grade team comes in comes together and they just do really well? Well, they're so accepted by everybody. And you talk about the house system, which is an intricate uh, intricate fellowship within the school where the kids are kind of uh, grouped into one of six houses and they fellowship and they build a mentoring group and they learn leadership skills. Those, those things are, are, uh, are incredibly uh, pertinent to every single thing they're going to do throughout the day. And not only that, when you sell that just as an as a, uh, entity by itself, it's not. It touches everything else. It's like the spiritual um, uh, element that we talked on earlier. That touches every single aspect that we do throughout the day. It, it touches when I'm teaching Julius Caesar in my English class, and then it touches all the way out when those students go to math class or geometry or whatnot afterwards. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, we gotta wrap. That, that's, that's what I just I figured was just amazing when going through the school and, and, that, and that feeling of, of, of acceptance and welcoming in. You know, to, to the school because you see it right as you walk through the doors. It's easy to see if it's just talk too. You know, if mm -hmm. someone just talks it and says, "Oh, this is a family environment," it's easy to see when you walk in if it's just talk or if it's action. Exactly. So, how often do you see the um, uh, persons or families? You know, it's, it's like the whole family goes goes to Hartley, and it's it's like a tradition. You talk about tradition of winning tradition of families going to Harley. I, I, you know, you go back to alumni games and that's what you see is the whole family, oh yeah, we all went to, the, went to Harley. What a great testament, right? I wouldn't, I'm, I wouldn't send my children to anywhere but the best school I could possibly send them to. You know, we all feel that way of our children. That's our greatest investment. We're going to put them in a great place. We're going to make sure they're in a fantastic place. So when our, our alumni continue to send their children there, that, that's, that's the best testament we could get, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, we'd like to thank you for the tradition of, of academics excellence, athletic excellence. Congratulations on a thank great you. season. Look forward to many more great seasons, and I can take many more pictures. We're going to love it. Um, uh, any, any last words there, Coach? Oh, thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. Exactly. Coach, thank you for having us. Thanks. All right. We'd like to thank Pleasure all of you. Thank, thank you. Thank all of you for, for you being, for being here. here. And we'd like to thank you for, for tuning in to our first segment here on Community Tapestry with the Bishop Hartley Hawks doing a great job this year and going to continue out throughout the rest of the year. So go Hartley and uh, we will see you here back in just a few minutes after these words.